What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of 10K on the Bay, my journey to 10,000 live listings. Welcome to episode number five of my store review series. Today, we're going to review six stores. Let's get straight into it. This is Lighthouse 1311. If you guys are interested in getting a review, you can buy one on my eBay store. The name of the store is The Low Key Husky. It's going to be changing shortly, but for right now, it's The Low Key Husky, and there's a link in the description below. Okay, let's do it. So, Lighthouse 1311. I like it. Um, I do think that if you have, um, here we go, Larry's Vintage Collectibles, you have a store name, it sort of ties it all together. Hmm, I, I think that you should add a profile picture because that will make your store look a little bit more personal, but not required. Featured items. What I would do is customize your store so that your most expensive items are in your featured items to give your store a little bit more of a premium um, feel because when you go into the store, you get the feeling of the most expensive stuff in your store. Um, let's take a look here because right here you have, unfortunately, this um, $15 t-shirt and this $19 Brooks Brothers shirt in the same category, in the same um, series as this really nice suit, um, this cashmere suit. And I really like the gallery photo where you were able to do um, both the tag, um, the content, and the blazer in the same photo. I really like that. I like this concept for the ties. Now, I will, um, I will say, though, if you tie the ties in the knot, um, the three knots sometimes uh, is a better um, indication of, of showing the design of ties versus the actual logo because Brooks Brothers in my opinion is not a premium brand so I don't think that that gives it as much oomph as like the actual tie designs with really crispy lighting. Um, from my first um, look at your page the, the lighting is not very bright so I can see it's a little bit dark in these photos which gives it a little bit of a, um, a lower level um, of a feel and this Brooks Brothers shirt um, you can see like the outlet literally in the picture, which sort of gives it, a, again, like a lesser of a premium feel. So you want to give your um, customer the most expensive feeling experience as possible with the most budget price possible. And that's going to give you a better conversion. So 629 items. Looks like you have some art. Um, I like that you have a good product mix of items that are over 100 and items probably cheaper as we go on. Um, I love these gallery shots. This suit picture is great with the, the pants over the suit. Um, I think that that invites someone to look at the, the other pictures. The only thing I can add to that is I like it when the pant doesn't cover the tie because it gives you a little bit of contrast. I also think that you should use completely square photos when you use suits to take advantage of the full pattern. Get as much of that suit in that picture as you can. Um, let's see here. Let's scroll down. A lot of really high-end suits. I love it. Um, I have a um, a suggestion. If this is, these are current, these are current labels, which I'm not 100% familiar. If this is the current um, Zenya label, I don't think it is. I would put current as the first word. That seems to be that seems to help a lot. So if you put in current. Ermina Gilda Zenya in the front. That's going to help. Uh, I think it might be Ermina Gildo. Ermina Gildo Zenya um, as the pronunciation of this brand right here. But if you put current in the front, it'll allow people to know whether or not it's a modern cut. And that really does matter because, you know, the older style of straight down and boxy is not as stylish right now as the more uh, tapered look on um, sort of the muscular slim. And that's why you guys want to sell shirts that are like double XL slim. So you have a big dude with broad shoulders narrow waist um, the triangle type body that's the most desired look right now so keep looking um, I see a lot of your titles you have a little inconsistency with the Hickey Freeman not being capitalized the easy riders here not being capitalized in my opinion it makes your store look a little bit um, less professional when you have the inconsistencies if you're gonna capitalize the brand like some stores do have it all capitalized just so you can get a consistent feel throughout your store Hmm. Like this, um, I like the hard goods that you're able to, to do both. And if you, and it looks like based on your feedback that you're very good at shipping because you've maintained 100% positive feedback. Um, one thing I would recommend is to get on Instagram, use this Lighthouse 1311 and post vintage finds. 
because these are goods that people can actually search for on Instagram. And the reason, and the reason why I bring that up is because you providing um, like your hauls should generate some traffic for you. You only have 35 followers in your store. And I can tell you for sure, almost every single day, I get a sale from somebody in my following that really helps boost and keep your sales level. Um, don't just wait for eBay to give you traffic. Do some marketing yourself if you can. If you want some specific tips on Instagram or social or Facebook, message me. I do all of those things um, to try to boost stores. It's actually going to cause me to change the name of my store so that it matches the stuff in it more because the Loki Husky is more of a pet brand that I was working on. Okay. Um, I would put vintage in this t-shirt, VTG, um, in probably the first or second word to give people an idea that it's older. Same with this Yankees uh, series shirt. Um, I love this um, casserole dish picture because it's natural and it hopefully it looks like it's actually in the kitchen, which I think is great. Um, little high-end shirts. I love it. You have a spell out. You spell out in the title here for this vintage Tommy shirt. I think you may have that in the title. You don't. So this is considered a spell out text. Also, another um, term that people like is color blocking. And you can see here, um, I would also use embroidered in the title. Um, but this isn't, unfortunately, a color block text. But if it was a color block style, it would have big patches of red or yellow or like a flag pattern that would make it wor be worth a little bit more. Um, let's take a look and see your sell-through rate. My guess is it's relatively slow because you have uh, sort of higher-end clothing. 629 but let's take a look your pricing is very very aggressive which i like i'd be so 245 so about 80 items per month uh 80 items per month with five or six hundred listed is a little bit slower than you probably like 10 percent would be 60 uh, 20 percent would be 120 so you definitely want to increase that if you can um, and I, my guess is to put more um, items that are in the a $30 range, but let's go ahead and take a look and see what's been listed recently. Um, some nice winter stuff. Coats are trending big time right now. It's a great job. I don't, I would normally say I don't like all gallery photos, but you're doing a great job. Um, because, for example, this item, I don't think Thinsulit or LL Bean is a strong brand. So I would, or, or and, and, and Klein to me is not, these aren't strong brands. I would try to go like the, the full picture of the item. Um, also, it definitely looks like some person's house versus a more professional setting. I think you get a little bit more money um, if it didn't look like an item from your closet. Um, having items from your closet definitely cheapens your item. It makes it harder to... Um, harder to see. Uh, I'm sorry, harder to, to sell for a premium price. You have the measurements. Um... Fantastic. I would not put anything that's like do not. I'd put please verify measurements with one of your favorite pieces of clothing to ensure proper fit. Anytime you put do not, it's, it psychologically tells your buyer that you're not interested in their business kind of or you're worried about returns. But as you can see here, this, this um, I think looks like a more premium store in my opinion because it's a pure white background um, and it's it's just like a more professional look versus your store looks like it's literally on your closet door of your bedroom uh, or your, your door of your bedroom. So hopefully that'll uh, give you a little bit of a boost. I like this vintage stuff. Um, is that, it's pre-owned, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Amazing. Um, a lot of hard goods here. I would sell, I mean, stuff that's a little bit more on trend if you can. But again, vintage is trendy. So I don't mind that you're going that route. Pictures are good. Title is good. Um, I would add gender um, to the titles if you can. I think this Van Halen shirt might be a mix. Um, it might be unisex. Orvis. Um Royal Stewart, teacups. Hope you watch and follow Thrift Love Sell on Instagram. She sells a lot of hard goods. Maybe you got those ideas from her. I love the close-up of the button. Great job. Um, I would do a close-up of the cuff on something like this. This is probably a flip cuff shirt. I wonder if it is. Um, kind of. 
But again, on this shirt, I think I would prefer the look where you have the, the collar, the shirt, and then the cuff. So I can see the basically the most important parts of the shirt without going in the listing. Um, well, wow, this is relatively expensive. You charge you charge on the high end of your stuff, um, which is great. That means you're doing less work. But then again, you may have a cash flow problem. Most of this stuff, I would charge, I would undercut you if I was your competition. Um, Lucky Brand sells really well um, for me. So, looks like you have a lot of great stuff in here. Is this vintage Patagonia? Nice. You got some nice stuff in your store. You have the, um, this is the Golden Fleece logo. So go ahead and if you can add Golden Fleece to the title, I believe it is. Uh, don't quote me on that, but I think that's what that sheep is. It's very desirable. I'm at the Tommy flag again. Um, ooh, I, I like this a lot. This would be considered color blocking, in my opinion, with the white, green, and blue. So add color block to the title. Uh, maybe search some vintage stuff and see what pops up uh, to see how they're describing their words. Um, these little tchotchkes that you have in your store um, are great, but they don't sell very fast typically. So I would definitely use Terra Peak or the Growth tab to add in some items that are more popular. Because um, selling men's clothing is more popular than women's clothing. Or, I'm sorry, easier than women's clothing because it's less competitive, but it also doesn't have a very high demand. So otherwise, overall, great store. If you have any questions, email me. Um, but I, it looks like around 600 items. I would say your average sale price is around 30 bucks. You probably have $20,000 listed. So I would be surprised if you're making more than two grand per month with this store. Um, so you really want to boost that. Try to maximize your store to 1,000. So try to get your store to 1,000 listings and then come back and I'll do another review for you. Okay, let's look at KK8902, new store, uh, 72 items for sale, just got started in the last couple of months. Uh, wait, is it 100% positive? It is. So great job. I recommend getting to 100 feedback as soon as possible, and that means selling everything you own. Why not? If you're getting started on eBay, sell all the stuff so you can get all that money to put in the new, new stuff. And if you really like things in your house, you can just rebuy it again on eBay, in my opinion. Also, I embrace the minimalist lifestyle, and I think you should only have things that you really care about. And I love buying cool stuff on eBay because it gives you a good story so you can tell people where you got it. And that story is what you want to convey when you're writing titles. Uh, Croft and Barrel, I would put women's for gender in the title. Um, you've got the size in here. This is good. Three, I would put maybe lot of three. People search for lot. Um, in the title, uh, I would get rid of the all caps titles. Um, you're probably just clicking sell similar and that can hurt your ranking. So make sure that you use um, a site called convert kit, convert case, sorry, convert case. So let's take your title right here of evolution and creative. You can copy it, go to convert case, um, click capitalize case. And now you just, this is how I quickly convert titles. Um, N-W-O-T, I always just put new. Um, and then in the title description below, I will explain what it is because N-W-O-T, I have never one time in my life searched for that term. So let's see, gentle souls. Um, I think your pricing on this is a little bit too high for the shoes. These should ship first class. So I would do something like, you know, five ninety nine, six ninety nine for that. Um, or these will for sure fit in a uh, padded flat rate envelope too if they're size six women's. I know because I ship those all the time. Um, I like that you have some auctions. Flat lay. Um, I like this hanger look, but I do think you're going to get a more premium price if you have a flat background. This looks like a curtain. No problem with that. Still professional, but definitely looks like some person's house. And I think that if you want to upgrade to looking like a store, you want it to look like a store. So... Um, otherwise great photos taking the whole um, picture I like a little bit of negative space around the picture so you can see the item more clearly sort of like this vest um, new with tags 190 great titles so good titles good pictures um, maybe more brightness in the photos is gonna make a pop a little bit more um, I like these blazers 11.5 those are my size um, Pictures look great. Um, too much clothing, not enough shoes. If you're going to sell in this category, you want to sell more shoes if you can. Um, all bike stuff is hot for the most part. Hmm. A lot of these shoes are size 11 and a half and 12. Maybe you got it from the same person or you're selling stuff around the house, which 
I love. Guitar Hero Bundle. Video game stuff is trending like crazy. So I 100% agree with you selling this kind of stuff. I think everyone should do some retail arbitrage just to see what's on trend. A couple of bundles, some boots, great job, board games. So yeah, also no replenishables in this store. Make sure you add some replenishables. I like that you're mixing up um, free shipping and paid shipping. I think you should test both. You're making use of Markdown Manager. That's great. I actually recommend that you don't run any sales when you first start because it's a waste of time. You wanna spend as much time as you can listing, don't mess with sales. Um, if you wanna do promoted listings, go for it. But you wanna just get as much stuff as you, you can up possible. And running sales and like that takes time. And it can really take up a lot of time going in there to adjust it. And if you forget to do a sale and your items are priced too high, they won't sell. Um, and you have a great mix already, I'm surprised, um, of high and low items. So really, really like that. Best match. Looks like a lot of your clothing is ranking higher. Free shipping is ranking higher than non-free shipping. Again, it's not apples to apples, but it's always interesting to see how things rank in people's stores. I would put vintage in the title here. Uh, you can omit these hyphens. They don't add anything um, and get rid of the all caps because it looks like you're yelling. Otherwise, good store. Let's go to the next one. Um, broken broken po thrift broken pot thrift okay broken pot thrift i think that's what it is uh, been a member since 2006 that's fantastic um over 10 years on ebay that's cool um one negative feedback i always look because a lot of people do look uh quality was bad um probably not your fault you can definitely um potentially get this removed um if it's not your fault. So definitely see, it's been a while since you had it, it's more than six months ago. Um, at least in my opinion, respond to the customer, go to the feedback forum and respond. You've also revised two feedback. So great job taking care of your customers. You're gonna be at 100% in a couple of months when that one falls off. So don't worry too much. I'm sure that you're not, but um, 842 items for sale, it's pretty good. 842, let's look at sold. 126. Ooh, some expensive stuff in here. So uh, a plotter. Um, looks like looks like you are um, a great picker. I can tell already because you have really, really nice items. Old Gringo, I've never heard of that boot brand. Great job selling those. Fantastic photo as far as making it look supernatural. So um, if you looked at the previous store, there's so much light in this picture and you can even see like how dirty the, um, the floor, the, the, the table is that this item is on, but it just looks so much more premium to me having a lot of light in an area. So even though the background's a little unprofessional, you can see the seams, you can see the corner, still fetched top dollar because in my opinion, the lighting was so clear. Um, all right, let's go back to the store. Um, you're making you're taking advantage of lots. I love that. I like this baseball bat picture. Vintage toys. You are a great picker. What your store looks like to me is a garage sale. Straight up looks like what what, what you would find at a garage sale. 842 items. Let's search high to low. Nice. You have some uh this is stuff like if I were to search Craigslist for local goods, I, I would expect this kind of stuff to pop up. So very, very good. If you're going to be a picker, I would definitely recommend focusing more on um, a consistent listing practice. And I like the idea of going big or going home as far as this type of model. Do like um, Terminal 99 is the store that I love looking at. Um, they just have amassed a ton of interesting stuff in their store. Um, I don't know if you follow them. I think they used to have an eBay channel, uh, but 8,000 items in their store, all random goodies. Let's see how much they sell. Um, so 123. So they don't sell a lot of items, um, but they probably make decent money um, in their store because they're selling stuff for a lot more expensive. So you can see 65. Actually, not so much. Um, they have a, mi a good mix of everything. But again, guys, 80% of eBay is like under 20 bucks. And you can see even this seller who has 8,000 items, most of the things that are selling so far 
um, are under 30 bucks with an exception of some expensive items. But again, mainly cheaper stuff. So I think you should fill your store with a nice mix of $9.99, $19.99, $4.21, like this, a bunch of books that you get at the garage sale for free. Load those all into your store. Get that traction going. Love it. I love books. They're so fast to list. You can even list it with a stock photo uh, provided by eBay. Love the controllers. Um, controllers, remotes, antennas sell super well. Okay. So there's a lot of stuff. There's like a, a too much of this stuff. But again, I bet you're getting this stuff at garage sales for next to nothing. Um, but should there should be some kind of core niche in here, in my opinion. It should be like either shoes or DVDs. or There's a lot of DVDs in here. VHS. Um, yes, I would almost get out of that. Media is a horrible category as far as like um, building a business. It's great for building margin because you pay almost nothing. Um, but well, this is just mostly VHS and stuff that you're finding relatively cheap. So I would definitely mix it up, get a core product um, like shoes or maybe TVs is what we discovered when we looked at Terapeak last night. I can't believe TVs um, are such a hot trending thing. But the reason why I bring that up is because you have expertise shipping stuff that's heavy or with local pickup. So if you know how to do that, um, I would definitely um, look into um, building a business that has a lot of this stuff in here. Um, also, I don't like using the word thrift in the title because it literally makes your store look like a garage sale um, or, you know, like gives it a lower quality thing. If you were, for example, um, gleaming treasures, um, then it would give it a different feel. So let's go to the next one. If you have any questions, um, before I rec or before I go to the next one, I want you to max out the thousand free listings you get. Um, I think you should try to maintain that amount each month to max out your premium store if you have one. Um, otherwise, titles, photos are a little bit dark. Um, your pricing seems on point, but you don't have a, 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 enough of a hardcore bread and butter type product in your product mix, which is what I would say is your is your um, that would help you level up the most. Okay, Troutman48, um, 329 items for sale. Looks like a lot of parts. Um, 329 items for sale. Uh, all hard goods. I'm loving this. So all these parts probably are missing from a car, and people really need it. And so you can charge almost whatever you want. Um, I like the mixture of free shipping and not. You're probably experimenting coffee or dye. Um, hmm, I didn't know about selling coffee on eBay, but I bet it sells really well because I know those death wish coffee mugs sell for bank. So um, there's a lot of following for specific coffee. The one thing that I worry about with selling all one-off items is just the time it takes to list. So for you at 328 items, you're going to get the biggest bang per buck by just developing a listing um, habit. And you have tons of feedback, 33, 60, 150 items. Wow, fantastic sell-through rate. Um, let's look through here. Wow. So this is the first store I've reviewed in a long time with more solds in their 90 days um, than they have listed, which means more than a 33% sell-through rate. So great job on that part. Um, let's see what kind of stuff sold. <sighs> great, great prices. So this is stuff you can find in the junkyard. Um, or if you have some kind of a hookup, I love that you're willing to sell something for cheap. I think I don't think it's a bad thing. Some people were like, "Oh, I would never sell something for 748 shipped." Well, what if you received it for free? Um, and this sold um, a couple months ago. I would potentially get rid of all caps, but I don't know why a lot of car part listings use all caps. Um, I don't like that. I think it makes your store look inconsistent because sometimes you're going to have Dodge Ram not in all caps. I think that consistency is not going to make a huge difference, though, because none of these items are going to have a lot of competition because they're old car parts. Um, I'm hoping that you get most of these items for close to free uh, from a scrapyard or such. But um, one thing I also think would help you a lot is getting in, out of a category that requires this much research. Like... Um, You'd have to get the part, find out what model it goes to. And for 975 ship, that scares me a little bit because I worry about the time you're spending on researching. But that being said, you're doing a great job with titles because your sell-through rate's above 33%, which is very rare 
I rarely review stores that sell more than a third of their items. Um, great eclectic mix. You know what? I I rarely say this, but I think that you found your niche, and maybe you should double down and try to get to a thousand listings. I know that might be hard with how many items that you sell, um, but try to get into a listing habit. Check back in with me and let me know um, what your listing process looks like, so I can helpfully help you list more stuff. Because somehow you have a supply of this older part stuff. But imagine if you had 4,000 listings and you were selling 5,000 every three months. That's a lot of stuff moving through your store and a lot of this stuff is small, which is super exciting. So Troutman, your photos look great because they are accurate of the item on their car parts. It, to me, it looks professional. It's not like on a couch or something. It looks like it's in, you're like um, a handy person. To me, it looks like it's on a workbench. Um, Good photos, titles, I would remove all the um, caps. Um, pricing looks good. Your product mix is fantastic. You got the full spectrum from $5 all the way to 200 And overall, good luck. Your store looks fine to me. Let me see if there's anything I would do to that. Uh, maybe add a banner, but um, not critical. And you've been selling for a long time, so I would be tempted to say maybe sell something you're not comfortable with every week to start giving yourself an opportunity to find some replenishables. Um, one tip is if you notice that a certain part is selling over and over again or there's a recall for a product, you can actually private label that stuff from China. If you notice it sells really well, really well pre-owned at $150, maybe order 10 brand new from China and charge $130. Um, put the same keywords in the title. Hopefully those will pop and you can make a quick 10 extra money on something you order from China and then not have to reorder. And after a while, if you get you know one new part in a month after a couple of years, now you have a nice um, a group of parts that you've private labeled. And I really like that concept. I know a lot of people who are entering in the car part market, finding stuff that sells at the dealership for five, 600 and offering it private label for you know half the price. Blueprint merch, what's up? 307 feedback, uh, 123 items. I like this background because of how much light is in it. So even though um, it's not uh, professional, in my opinion, not having as much space around the item, I do think it's legit because the lighting is so bright that it doesn't look like it's, in, it's just in someone's house, like in their bathroom. It looks like you took the time to light this area with a lighting kit, in my opinion. Maybe not, but um, I like the apple bottom uh, jean picture. This picture is out of focus. Um, I would put definitely Christmas in the title if you're trying to use um, keywords to get it. And I would also add a gender. Is this men's or female or men's or women's with these apple bottom jeans. This is one of the rare occurrences where I would use the check mark. Um, so I can see that both the cut of the jean and then also the design. You do not have what cut of the jean it is. I think apple bottoms are all like the loose baggy style. Um, but see, as a buyer, I, I can't buy this pair of jeans because I don't know what the bottom, I don't know what cut it is. Uh, is it boot cut? Uh, let's see if you put down here, you put boot cut. But I can't tell that it's boot cut by the picture. Um, in fact, this makes it look like a straight leg because it, I can't see the flare um, on this on this part. It may very well be boot cut, but I'm just saying I can't tell. Um, also, I would recommend an iPhone SE or higher. Um, so iPhone SE or a 6 Plus or higher because they're going to be more crisp photos or like I think like an Android 6 or higher. Um, these photos look a little bit out of focus to me. So I would definitely upgrade your camera if you can. Like this skirt looks a lot better. I don't know if you um, changed your camera recently, but this one looks less grainy to me. Um, I'm noticing you're selling a lot of stuff that doesn't have uh, a brand, which is very, you're very talented because that's not easy because this stuff is really, really cheap at the thrift store because they can't command a price like, you know, Burberry or Gucci or Ralph Lauren. Clutch bag, um, a t-shirt. So a lot of women's accessories. Here's a gown. Beautiful. I would get rid of all the um, uh, all caps in your title. And I would also make sure that you put gender in everything. Like this is, this is a fleece for women or men. I don't know. There's also no color in the title. I would put green. These kind of small things would help. Also, there's no size in this title. So it makes it difficult for someone to find it. If there's no color, no size, no gender. Got to add those in. Your pricing looks um, 
extremely high to me at $22. I feel like this would be new, only $25. So make sure your pricing is on point. Remember the average piece of old clothing is gonna sell for $12, including shipping. So if you're gonna sell basic brands like Old Navy, be consistent. The one exception to that rule is that it's very cold right now, so maybe somebody will pay up. Pay attention to your watcher. Sometimes if I get five watchers right away, I'll increase the price of the item five bucks. And worst case scenario, they'll offer 35. Um, this is a Bill Blass brand. You need to put Bill Blass in the title. And also, I believe Bill Blass is workwear. Um, I could be wrong, uh, but you put casual in the title. But I, I don't know a lot about Bill Blass, but I think it's, it's career wear. Um, so make sure that it's the right thing. I can't tell anything from this photo. I'm definitely going to scroll by. It's not cheap. I don't know what it is. Uh, I can't tell if it's dress or work pants. And the, the brand is not even in the title. So I'd be careful there. Um, charming. Yeah, make sure that you... Are these cufflinks? Oh, they are cufflinks. Uh, I would definitely put... Um, I don't know if I would put men's since cufflinks. They don't make cufflinks for women, but... I think I would put cufflinks in the sterling silver cufflinks in the front. Those look great. Yeah, I, mean, I would put the whole shoe in the photo if you can and the whole dress in the photo. Make sure there's some white space around the item to give it a little bit of a 3D feel. Um, it's hard to, I really dislike pictures where it's cut off in my opinion. It looks extremely unprofessional to me. It's like you didn't take time to center the photo. If you can uh, take a square photo, that would make these look a lot more professional because every single item almost goes right to the edge or is cut off. Um, these are okay. I think your pricing is a little bit high. Um, you have 139 items for sale, um, 60 sold, so about 20 per month, 10% sell-through rate. Not horrible, um, but definitely I would expect you to be higher with the quality of the items you have in your store. Honestly, your store is pretty decent as far as a mix. Um, I don't sell ties because I think consider them a waste of time unless they're over 50 bucks. Um, just because you could be listing something else in the same amount of time. Um, and none of these ties are that valuable in my opinion. These are ties that I would maybe lot together and start at the same price because you can save on the shipping cost um, or maybe start it at $4.99 free shipping because um, it's going to cost the same to ship one or three and maybe you can get some more traction by putting Bill Blass bundle in the title. Although Bill Blast is not a strong brand. Um, you have to put the title of the brand in the title as the first word because everybody does that. So it's actually, it's not required, but 99% of the large sellers put the brand as the first word. So a lot of this stuff is kind of junky. Um, this is stuff that you would find in the garage sale for one or two bucks. And it also looks like that. Um, in some of the photos, actually, I take that back. None of your photos are presented poorly. Um, they're well lit. It's just that they're a little bit busy. Like this doesn't show off the shoe because the, the box is in the background. This wood background's a little bit distracting. I don't mind it, um, but I would love the square because this photo with the mannequin would look fantastic. Just a little bit more room around it so you can give it some... Uh, some depth. Here we go with this tie a lot. Um, I wouldn't sell ties, honestly. You can just omit that from your your um, things that you sell unless they're expensive. And I think you'll be just fine. You won't even notice if you just get rid of ties. Uh, I love this Keurig thing. So another retail arbitrage thing. Maybe you found a niche or maybe you took these from work. Just kidding. But yeah, um, I like this variety. Um, the one thing that I would add is the word lot or maybe wholesale to give people an idea because people may be searching for Keurig lots. I know I would. Um, yep, otherwise it's fine. Your, your shipping is a little bit high, $11 here, seven ten for here for this is clearly a first class item. So you may want to try either free shipping or cheaper actual shipping. Um, I think you're also going to save time. This is, this is calculated shipping, which it might be, but there's no... Um, He's charging $10 shipping for this ring. It's a little bit much. So definitely adjust your shipping um, to be competitive. You don't want to overcharge um, on sandals and stuff because it makes a huge difference. 
Again, shoes like this that don't have a major brand, in my opinion, are going to sell for $12, including shipping. So your price is really high. Um, you don't want to sell stuff for cheap. That takes a long time. If you're going to sell garage sale, yard sale, thrift store items, in my opinion, you should sell them fast unless they're really good brands, and, and most of these are not. Let's look at the high end real quick before I move on to the next store. Um, you do have some stuff over $100, which I think is great. Um, keep focusing on that. More items in the 30 to 50. Um, try to get your store all the way up to 250 items. Uh, keep in touch, 10 gmail.com and we'll revisit you in a couple of months or a month and see how you're doing. Um, but again, if you want to make $100,000 um, or $50,000 a year, make sure you have that much listed. Um, the, the website is ebay.com slash sh slash list slash active. It's in this title. So you look at this number that's posted right here to give you an idea of how much money you make per year depending on your sell-through rate. But you can't make money if you don't have stuff listed. So list as much stuff as possible. Try to get that ASP as high as you can. Run some auctions if you have to. Let's go to the last store. Red Eye Resale, what's going on? Um, uh, oh, good stuff. Lily Pulitzer, Prada, Ralph Lauren in the first four photos. Guys, right off the bat, this looks like a store. Um, you have a very, very nice crafted wood background, my personal favorite. This gives It makes these shoes look so natural, and they pop to me. I like the two-color wood because it gives you a contrast, and you don't have to switch it up if it's a light color shoe and a dark color shoe. This is a fantastic photo in my opinion, although it won't rank in theory in the Google image search. But this is my theory on that. I think that Google is smart enough to find photos that even don't have a white background. And if you were to type this in the Google, my guess is it would still pop up. And in fact, I am going to test it. So let's type this in the Google and see if your eBay listing will pop up. Oh, see, this is a this is a good um, this is a good analogy. We're looking here, right? You can see all pure white background. This is why eBay wants you to have a pure white background because they're saying that images that are not pure white will not show up in the um, search. And as you can see so far, here it is down here. We found your shoe by typing it in the Google. So this is a fantastic way to test, but look how far down it is in the ranking. So it still showed up, but it's like on page five of this. You have to scroll down all the way here to see this photo. Who knows if this is a pure white background, if it would have showed up higher, but something to consider. Um, uh, Ralph Lauren black label dress looks fantastic. 405 looks, in my opinion, I'm going to guess there's a lot of premium items in this store. Oh, I was wrong. Just kidding. But you have some uh, decent stuff here. Anthropology is super flooded, guys. I've just noticed that like BHFO is selling stuff for like $20 shipped. So I don't know. Maybe the free people uh, anthropology gravy train is over. Um, here you have some ridiculously awesome white background photos. Um, let me know what your setup looks like. I'm curious how you're able to take photos that are that crispy um, as far as um, white background. I do think I would probably crop the bottom piece off of it could so it looks like this orange one looks more professional to me um you have women in the title your titles are good um brand size if it's new or not uh i didn't know lauren conrad was that weak of a of a price this is one of those situations where i would recommend maybe not focusing so much on a sale because you have a small store and focusing on getting more items into your store. Try to get to at least 600 to 1,000 to maximize that premium store. These photos look fine. Uh, Vineyard Vines, great brands. Um, let's look at your sell-through rate. So 405 items available in all categories. Uh, let's look at sold. 231, so about 80 items a month with 405, 20% sell through rate. Still above average for women's clothing. Uh, it's not easy to sell in this category. It's really, really, really flooded. Um, let's see if you have anything else. I definitely recommend as many shoes as possible, especially women's shoes. They sell well. Uh, love it, Italy, MSRP, 590. Love it. Put the pricing in there. One thing I would say is that there's not a lot of consistency with the photos. You have a lot of different backdrops. So it does make your store look a little confusing with that. Um, but other than that, I don't mind. I like how clean the photos look. It definitely, in my opinion, looks very much like a store. 
Um, Mephisto, Kohan, I love that. This is, hopefully this is a stock photo. I love it. So great job on the titles. Um, your pictures look great. It's a little confusing because sometimes it's wood, sometimes it's fuzzy, sometimes it's white, sometimes it's black. But I don't think that's going to affect your sell-through rate as much as some people think. I just would prefer it to be somewhat consistent. But I don't think it's affecting your sales. I just think that there's too many women's tops. Um, and to sell women's tops fast, you need to be at $12 free shipping, which is not fun. Not a fun place to be to sell volume. You have a lot of new items, which is fantastic. Um, I wonder if you, what your strategy is for pricing. Like when do you reduce the pricing? Um, do you do a certain amount? How do you know which items are aging? Um, I know a lot of people will change their background and let them know mentally how old the item is. That's a strategy that people can do. Pilker on the letterpress, good stuff. I just listed one of those for a little bit less. Harness. So I would say definitely more shoes. You have a pretty decent average sale price. Uh, I would say 405 on that active listing page. I would be surprised if you have less than 15 to 25,000 listed. And again, if you want to make a full-time listing, a uh, full-time living on eBay, which I consider 50,000 a year, you need at least 50,000 listed. So let me know how much time you have per week. And this is the worksheet. It's at bit.ly.com slash 10K on the Bay. This will give you guys an idea of what you need to get up there. Figure out how much time you have per week. Figure out how to get your your process is going. Try to double your productivity um, because if you double your productivity, you can double your income with the amount of time that you do it. The most important part is listing faster. Um, up here, we have 11 people working on this right now. So guys, get in here, network, meet people. Everyone that was on this chat, I recommend that you find local resellers to be friends with. That's one huge hack that I have because I personally know over 200 resellers and that's really, really helped me level up. So if you guys have any questions, email me at 10k on the bay at gmail.com. If you want to join my Patreon and join a group with five other people every week and go over how to improve yourself and stay accountable, you can do that or you can just email me. I will answer questions for free, but again, I only have so much time, so these paid ones take a little bit of precedence. Everyone have a great day. Keep listing. It's Q4. Got to hit the post office. Peace.